If things look good, we will shut down the one Raptor engine and our top will be second one and we'll land on a single engine in the landing zone. Next to your camera, five minutes in the flight, we'll have the continuing to descend because we're coming up on three kilometers altitude. And as you just heard, everything's looking good. Now for the ship, we uh, wanted it to survive hot staging, which as you can see there by that little dot on your screen, it did. Uh, we also want to uh, basically demonstrate that the successful startup of that uh, of those engines, demonstrating controlled ascent, which is what it's doing right now. Tell us five and a half um, minutes. Our ship insertion. continuing the subsonic uh, we descent. We are hoping to using the four and a half laps to control its altitude as we come back down to the landing pad. And if it makes it this far, splash down. Coming up on five minutes forty-five seconds. We have the ignition at five forty-five. Preparing to pass through one starship, heading back to the landing pad. If we get that far. With like landing, all of that sounds landing, great, yeah. secondary objectives for ship. Again, continuing to gather engine data and about its health, performance. Blend in. Uh, profile similar to what we would need for orbit, but also and to get to the energy levels that the ship would need to dissipate for re-entry. And so we're actually going in a suborbital trajectory today, but that trajectory will get us to the energy levels that we need at re-entry, where we can really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on re-entry. And those calls that we are still on a nominal trajectory here and seeing nominal pressures means that we have a really good shot of hitting our target orbit. Yeah. Now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry, but it unfortunately did not survive. Uh, that being said, that's okay. It survived several Are seconds after uh, hot staging, so we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight. 